Hi, this is Leslie Berger backstage at BB Jazz, and guess who I ran into? Paul Taylor. Hey, Leslie, how are you doing? Hi, fine. Nice to meet you. Same here. I am so excited. You're going to be performing shortly, and you are on a special tour, an urban jazz tour called The Gentleman of the Night. I'd like to be part of that tour, but <laughs> but tell us about who's part of that tour. Who are you going to be performing with? Well, Leslie, you are a part of it because you're here tonight with us, and um, oh. our tour includes um, the brainchild of the tour, Mary Meadows, Lauren Hill, and myself, three saxophonists. So we're the gentlemen of the night, and you know, every night, every time we perform, we're like giving it our all. And um, as I, you know, as I said earlier, you know, we have it all scripted out, but there's like spots and gaps that open for interpretation, and like. And you play it by ear sometimes. Play it by ear. Now, I've talked to a lot of saxophonists today, and a few of them have said they chose that instrument because it attracted women. What was your reason for playing the saxophone? Well, you know what? Um, I think later, later on, that kind of worked for me. You but started as a child. I started as a child. Uh, my parents just got me into music. Also, my younger brother just to get us off, to keep us out of uh, out of trouble and off the streets. And then that just kind of took out a life of its own with like a couple of. Uh, garage bands in high school and then you know I got the book performing and here I am now. Where are you originally from? Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado and it, you're not new to California are you? Oh no I've been here so many times like so many it's only like an hour away. Oh. oh fabulous. Well let me ask you this Paul. How do you balance family and career? Because I know as a musician you're on the road a lot you got a lot of studio things you got to take care of. How do you do it all? You know, it's a it's a fine line to it sometimes because sometimes you can get um, so entrenched in either one. Um, you know, sometimes I'm on the road so much or I'm in the studio in my ha at my house so much that you know you got to come up for air sometimes, and then vice versa. I'll be you know chilling at home and then like, oh man, I haven't you know I haven't I haven't touched my horn in a couple days. So you know, it's a balance of both and just trying to uh, keep a, a nice balance of juggling each one. And so um, it all it all works out in the end. Though. Tell me. What or who inspires you to keep going? Because you know, I understand you have challenges in this industry, and for you to keep giving, giving to your audience, uh, what do you do to recharge? Well, you know, actually, you no. Know, my wife, I have a look very uh, happy, you know, lovely wife at home, and um, she's always that she's been there from day one, and so you know, she's definitely my inspiration. But also, just playing, just you know, being at this level, getting to this level at last, and. Um, Recording my music, playing like BB jazz, festivals like this all over the country. That's my inspiration to keep bringing my music to the people and what I feel and what I remember. Well, Paul, thank you for your time. Thank you so and much. I look forward to hearing you perform later. I appreciate it. Thank you. And everybody, keep it real. Keep it real.